Strawberry One Act Festival 21st season. And I'm here with people from the play like them. Rick Muller is the playwright and introduce us to our other cast. This is Hannah Susi. Uh, she plays, uh, oh my goodness, she plays Bianca. <laughs> and this is Gregory Higgins. He plays Jim. And I also play Matthew in the play and I'm also co-directing it. Well, what? Is this your full cast? This is my full cast. The only one that's not here is the co-director. Okay. He's actually had an audition last to late, so he's running late. All right. So like them, like them, who are we referring to? Like them means, I think like them means like everybody. Because the marriage, when the uh, marriage initiative passed, or when it began to be bantered about, I questioned whether, as a gay man, do I really need to be married? Do I really need to have that certificate? I've had it. I've been in a long-term relationship where we have all the rights as everyone else, really, except we can't file our taxes jointly. But so I pose that question. I mean, for myself, I think I've answered it, that I wouldn't mind getting married now just because gay rights are human rights. However, the play tries to take a comic approach to it where Jim and Matthew are together for 30 years. Well, it's, it says a, a gay couple's 30-year open relationship is challenged with two marriage proposals and the inclusion of an unexpected child. Well, Matthew knows that Jim is having an affair with one of his young architects, but he doesn't <laughs> know that she has a V. A V? <laughs> you know the vagina ah. model. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that V. <laughs> so, <with me. laughs> so he is quite you taken back. With the V. <laughs> yeah. A woman. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, that would take us a bit. <laughs> and she's pregnant, and so, and Jim kind of makes the mistake and kind of for one second considers leaving Matthew. Uh, oh. da, da, da. So okay, the don't tell us thickens. anymore. No, that's, no, I'm not. That's the it. That's thicken. Okay. <laughs> I won't say anymore. And, and Hannah, your your character is what is your character's name? Bianca. Bianca. She's the. Young architect, woman on the side. <laughs> okay. Did you realize that you, does she realize that she's on the side of a, in the middle of a gay relationship? Yes. Yes, she does. Um, I think that it comes a little bit as a, well, not a shock to her, but I think that she thinks that she can maybe change that. Um, I think that she thinks that she can maybe change him and win him over to the straight side. Uh, so, and Gregory, how, um, how do you relate to your character? Is there, is there anything about this character that is like you? Well, this is my first time being gay. It's a new, ex a new experience for me. It's like you're coming it's out not play. That bad, actually. And guess what? He lets me kiss him. I don't know if there's that much of a difference. <laughs> It's just a different sex, but it is an interesting experience uh, in the way I look at it. You know, uh, it's basically the same as uh, looking at a woman. Uh, so he's a man, kind of thing. You There's know? that. And I have to get through that. It also seems that um, as a, I'm a successful architect and I'm very su successful and have a lot of money, and uh, I also seem to be quite handy. I to get around. <laughs> <laughs> and so you, you can afford to, so you just keep to. No. <laughs> and we have an incredible, we have the audition, we, we're laughing all the time in the rehearsals, which is really fun. It's funny. It's just like, we're just laughing, so, which is, is a part of it. It's a, Van created this wonderful thing, the medium to create, and part of the creation process is fun, and I've learned that, and so that's what this is. It's just great fun, that's why I did it, and I well, love that. We've seen you in the festival several times, mm -hmm. and have the two of you been in the festival before? This is my first time in the festival. And Have you been in a festival before? I was in the last festival. Okay. Yeah, like Sam and Men in the Bottle. I, I remember Men in a yeah. Bottle. That was, that was something. <laughs> I was quite pleased when he came and auditioned. Okay. 
And so, how is your experience overall with the festival? Oh, I think this is a fantastic experience. I'm so lucky to be part of it. So I lucky that you had like your first timer. Yes, I am. Yeah. I I'm loving it. I'm really excited to be given the opportunity to work with people who really care about what they're doing and are really motivated and really want to make work that is fun but also makes people think. Um, I'm excited. I'm really happy to be part of it. It motivates me. It makes me feel wonderful because I, I write these plays, but I also. I am an actor professionally now again because I have a theatrical outreach company, but this, but I'm more of a writer, but this gives me a medium to do different types of acting also, so that's one of the reasons why I do it, so I love it, yeah. So when is your, when are the dates for your play in the festival? Sunday, March 4th at 7 o'clock, and we're the last show. Sunday, March 4th at 7 o'clock, be there and find out the answer to like then. That's at the Hudson Guild Theatre. 441 West 28th, 26th Street, between 9th and 10th Avenue. We'll see you there. That's the Strawberry Festival running from March 1st through March 11th. Come on out. Come on out. We have strawberries. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was wonderful. I think it was good. That yeah. was fun.